Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X. Today hitting you with some more Ruby Volume 3 doing Chapter 9 PvP. It's actually going really well. At this rate, we'll be done with Volume 3 hopefully roughly around the end of April-ish. Maybe a little before or after. It depends on how everything's going in life, how much time we have. Because um, as you know, that's really what it comes down to is how much time. But yeah, let's get started. Check the bumpers on both ends, as well as the description below for info on how to support Rooster Teeth, as well as us. Thank you, guys. Comedy Gaming Community. Still gotta figure out what happened to the moon. He blew a hole in it! Sorry, Dragon reference. Pool of blood. Her whole body seemed to light up there, so that's interesting. I wonder if that can, like, move or do stuff. It also, like, like I said, they led too much stuff with... One with the the World of Remnants stuff kind of stuff for me. But also, uh... Well, that's interesting, because I think it's the next episode it's supposed to be the next one, which we'll have to skip. But they feel a little bit more spice. The whole thing seems to be, like, they're just trying to find... The other uh, seasons still their power is apparently probably that's that would be my guess. See now someone with all of the seasons powers I could see being a bigger threat. But honestly, the whole one season thing I don't know, I don't know, yeah. Oh, is it? oh, did you see them fall off? That that's a big uh, bad thing. That's not that's not a good sign or indicator. A lot of those people falling out of that circle might be another. Ah, uh, spoiler. Really gotta stop watching these intros. Does it mean those change every season? Oh no, not the hyper-realistic teapot. Oh no, it's it's normal. It's not bad. Same with the cup. They toned it down a bit. Uh-oh. Here's the thing, you guys know this shit. How are you not like... Oh lord, Penny. Just not for you, Penny, probably. I don't know. Mercury, what are you doing? You were hurt. Why? What's going on? I doesn't think, though. She's just faster than him. If you're not going to tell me... Said so once again, her semblance of speed. She's faster than him. Alrighty. Plot hole achieved. And she just came from that direction. She doesn't have to get past him. Why does she... Unless she just came out from behind him. That's right. Vera could just do her semblance, but she actually is one of the fighters who just slightly uses it. God forbid that she's supposed to be. But once again, she's useless without it. Just keep this between us friends. That's the thing, the general probably wants to put it into Ruby, or not into Ruby, into Penny. At which point, it would be a bad thing because then the hacker chick could take it over. Which, once again... Why is her... That was weird. I was about to say, like, that should be, have been her first choice. And, well, she can't keep extended length. Oh! Uh, okay then. I did not know her flying swords were also lasers. To be fair, they're not flying, she controls them with strings. 
Also, does she have a semblance then? Yep, and then she can use them as boosting projectiles. So she can make it specific. Alright, that's gonna have to be explained. No, Penny! But she's just a robot. Will that even kill her? Look! Look with your eyes! Look with your eyes! Look! with your eyes also poor design if she, her wires are strong enough to cut herself by the way just mechanically speaking is a robot they will make another version she has a hard drive most likely and a backup unit enough to control both. They cling to this power in the name of peace. And yet, what do we have here? One nation's attempt at a synthetic army, mercilessly torn apart by another star pupil. What need would Atlas have for a soldier disguised as an innocent little girl? I don't think the Grim can tell the difference. And what, I ask you, is Osmond teaching his students? First a dismemberment, now this. Huntsmen and huntresses should carry themselves with honor and mercy. Yet I have witnessed neither. Perhaps Osmond felt as though defeating Atlas in the tournament would help people forget his colossal failure to protect Vale when the Grim invaded its streets. Or perhaps this was his message to the tyrannical dictator that has occupied an unsuspecting kingdom with armed forces. Honestly? I haven't the slightest clue as to who is right and who is wrong. But I know that the existence of peace is fragile. And the leaders of our kingdoms conduct their business with iron gloves. As someone who hails from Mistral, I can assure you, the situation there is... Equally undesirable. Our kingdoms are at the brink of war. Because of you. The citizens are left in the dark. Yep, here come the Grim. When the first shots are fired. Who do you think you can trust? The feeds are all damp. We can't get a message out. Will somebody tell me what in the world is happening? No, Ryan. Alert. Incoming Grim attack. Threat level 9. Please seek shelter in a calm and orderly manner. Ladies and gentlemen, please, there is no need for panic. Never more! How did he get past the kingdom's defenses? It wasn't alone. Oz, get 
to the city. But now! Hamburger. <laughs> I, just, I will never... Oh, and there they go. Oh, and the elephants. Shit, they see a chance. I <laughs> said, you brought the army to do it! Damn it! This is blue four. Blue's two and three fall into defensive position. This is the whole reason why you were here. How are you not getting shit done? This is like the real goddamn police. Oh, of course. Oh, and she releases Torchwood, of course. It's about time. Only well, it took most of the season three. Unfortunately, they can't do full animated explosions still. <laughs> Open the white banger here. So this is gonna be a big one, boys and girls. Woo! Alrighty. Alright, I can dig it. And then there's the specs for Penny. Once again, poor design if you're wires. Now the swords should probably still be able to slice through her for practicality's sake. The wires. Nah. -uh -uh -uh. That's a very poor design for a weapon. Never make your weapon able to hurt yourself in that manner. That's why chains are not sharp for sickle and chain. Now granted, I'm sure it's a, some of it could be attributed to the power of the gravity pull, but that's just a poor design. Make your, make your endoskeleton tougher than your connecting adjoinments. Just for further engineering uses. And the re there's several reasons for that. Like any loose exterior piece should definitely never like be able to pull. So for example, you make a cable strong enough to pull um uh like alright, so good example. Uh speak on cables, right? Uh they are these cables for speakers that lock in. And they're cool because they're strong. Like you can pick up a 30 pound speaker by the cable and not have it damage the cable or the connection. Because of that, but the wire itself is not as wrong, otherwise you would be having the similar issue with breakage. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a rough area of design. Anyway, that was a great episode as always, guys. I appreciate all of the watches, likes, views, comments, and uh, I've been trying to be a little more controversial. <laughs> See who who, who talks, I feel like I'll get more people responding that way. No, I'm just kidding, but I have had some things to say about the last couple episodes. Things are finally going towards the thing. I do got questions still, lots and lots of questions, but we'll have to figure those out later. In any case, think, you know, uh, check out the bumpers on both ends for info on how to support us as well as Rooster Teeth, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X, with me, your host Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support, and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.